here's my next project. I got this, picked up this black powder rifle at the gun club, the Wood County Sportsman's Club, over in uh, Lane, Illinois. You should consider joining that if you're in the area. And this gun has a problem with the lock mechanism. It doesn't want to doesn't want to cock. This is a Thompson Center Arms 45 caliber muzzle black, muzzle loader black powder. And everything I've read said that this gun is really a fantastic weapon. The triggers are easy, it's easy to shoot, and it's easy to fix. Nothing about it is complicated. So, what I'm gonna do is disassemble it, we're gonna figure out what's wrong with this lock mechanism right here. Oh. All right. All right, now this is my catch-all workbench, so I'll be critical of my bench here. First thing we're gonna do on this gun is knock this keeper out of this barrel. go that's what keeps the barrel on the stock slide this rod up a little bit right there and that's gonna let the barrel lift out of here all right now to get this lock out got one screw here in the back oops Take that loose, and this allows the lock to come out. Pull this sear back, you're gonna see these notches that show up right here. When you pull it back to here, this is your safety. And you pull it all the way back to here. Yep. <sighs> Not enough hands. That is your ready to fire position. But what's happened here What's happened here is there's a plunger right here in this little pocket that's supposed to push down on this. And that's what's not happening. That's why it's not catching. So to take this apart, yep, that screwdriver won't work. I need a smaller tip. We're gonna take this, take these two screws out here. takes this plate off this little mechanism right here you don't want to lose these pieces remember how they go back together all right so back to what we're looking at this plunger right here is what's stuck I don't know how it got stuck I'm assuming corrosion uh, but I have tried lubrication. I've got a hold of a couple different special pliers. Tried to get a hold of it. And it won't pull out. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to look at the angle here. And you'll see it comes up about to this angle right here. And then on the back here, about to here. And there's a dimple here on the top. I'm not going to guess how that dimple got there. What I'm going to do is I'm going to drill a small hole right here and see if I can't knock this plunger out from the top because I've done everything I can to get it out from the bottom and it's not coming. All right, now I've got this in device. I've lined this up as best I can best I can see so the plunger is straight up and down with the drill bit. And I've picked the smallest drill bit that I, that I fit this punch is a 564. So I don't want to make a hole any bigger than I need to. Uh, clearly that would be a whole nother problem. So let me get that lined up there. All right. So here we are. A little more.
And I made a little dimple on top of that uh, dimple because I don't want the drill bit to walk. So here we go. got a hole through the top of that and hopefully my punch is going to fit down in there oh no you know what instead of making that hole any bigger i'm gonna make my punch smaller be right back all right there we go the punch is smaller we'll put that down in there and see if we can tap that with the hand There it is. All right. Let's pick this up here. There should be a spring inside of this. There it is. And like I suspected, lots of corrosion. So what we're going to do, since I didn't make that hole too big, that's not going to hurt that spring at all. That'll be even a new, nice new place to put oil in. We're going to clean all that out and uh, put it back together. All right, be right back. All right, so what I've done here is I've taken a drill bit that fits this hole and I run it backwards. The reason I run it backwards is I don't want to take any metal off. I just want to scrub the rust out. Now, I've got the rust scrubbed out. I'm going to take a little bit of this perma blue that I got, put it on this Dremel, and we'll work that in there. I'm going to scrub that hole. Perma blue is not the, the best solution to bluing a gun. But if you got nicks and scratches, it works just fine. You see a lot of that rust come out of there. Let's see if I can get a little screwdriver here. Get in there and clean that out a little bit better. So that's going to give it a little bit of bluing on the inside of the hole. All that rust is loose. I'm going to take a little bit of gun oil. Now I guess this is a good time, a good time as any to give you a disclaimer. I'm not a gunsmith. I like these black powder guns. I like fixing things. So here we are. All right. There's there's the spring that came out of it. There's the plunger that was stuck in there. Looks like the plunger still got a little rust on on it. Steel wool. I know I got steel wool right here. Hang on a minute. All right. Guess we'll quit horsing around here. Go ahead and lubricate up. Moving parts real good. Put the plant, put the cover back on. All right, 
Now we'll try walking it through all the paces and see if that doesn't fly apart. All right, there, there is the firing position. All right, lock, firing position, and the plunger. Plunger is working. All right. Since we got a new, since we got a new little oil hole up here, I'm gonna dab some oil in it. All right, now we're gonna put the gun back together. And I'll be right back. All right, we got this back together now. I was explaining to you about the lock, safety in the, in the firing position. So when you pull this back, that's a, that is the safety on a black powder. Neither of the triggers work in that position. All right, when you pull it all the way back, the triggers work. Now this one here is a double set trigger. You'll see a trigger in the back, trigger in the front. When you pull it all the way back to fire, you pull this back trigger and you'll hear it click. All right, that makes the pull on this front trigger extremely light. That's good for accuracy, all right? Now, if you're new to guns, Get your modern gun, have fun. But if you want to know more about guns, get a muzzle loader. Shoot black powder. These guns are incredibly simple to work on. You'll learn a lot from them. Every shot, you have to measure the powder, tamp the bullet down the barrel. You need to put the primer on the nipple, and then you need to shoot it. And they're a lot less expensive. Instead of shooting 30 rounds off in, in 10 seconds, you're gonna shoot one round off every couple minutes, all right? And you're gonna learn a lot about this. It's, it's relevant to reloading. You learn how to reload a black powder gun, a muzzle loader. It's a similar process to cartridges. You measure the powder, you tamp the bullet in, you put the primer in. When you're reloading, you put the primer in, you put the powder in, you tamp the bullet in. So it's a similar process. You'll learn something from these. Black powders are good educational guns. Buy one, learn to shoot it. You'll enjoy everything else you shoot even more.